guys, I'm back with a new video. So this video is going to be another method on how to make money online using Shopify or any e-commerce uh, platform. You can use WooCommerce, BigCommerce, it's up to you which one is, works for you. So um, again, I'm not going to go too in-depth in this video, I'm going to show you the basic steps, what you need to do, and the method that I take to make this work, to sell stuff online. So let me tell you about what this method is. So it's pretty much selling, um, it's drop shipping, it's selling stuff on Shopify. In my case, I'm using Shopify. It's, it's going to cost you about $29.99 a month. And the thing is that you want to find a niche product. You want to have your store based on one product. For example, uh, let's say you want to sell uh, Legos. So your store is going to be based on Legos and you're going to <coughs> find products for Legos. So, so here's my store. And here's in the last seven days I've been, I made four hundred dollars and in the past ninety days I made three point five thousand. Um be honest, I didn't really work that much on this and I did not buy any Facebook ads. Uh you wanna buy Facebook ads for this um platform because you wanna get yourself known out there. And if I have bought Facebook ads, in my case I did not on this website, I would have way more sales. Um I have a friend who's making twenty five grand a month making sales drop shipping on Shopify with a niche product. Um, the reason why I don't um, take this seriously is because I have my own Amazon business to deal with so I have no time for this business. I just leave it online just make me some um, autopilot income <coughs> just generate me autopilot income for myself. So let me s explain you the method is done for this one. So if you want to find a niche product I recommend going on to Aliexpress this website here and search for a niche product so uh, these products will be from China and once you make a sale uh, you would buy from here and ship it to the address that you bought on your website so you don't do no work at all it's just called drop shipping so when you have your product you want to upload them on your website and charge them zero dollars make it free this is the key you make it free and once they go out for shipping you want to charge them shipping so this is um, this makes you a lot of leads a lot of um, generates you a lot of traffic clicks and buyers, potentially buyers, and that's the key. Make your item free. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a bit. I'll make it free and sell it for zero dollars. And once you go check out, the shipping is gonna be like ten dollars. So it pretty much makes up for the products and it's eye catching. And once you have that, you won't buy Facebook ads. You won't target certain pages, small groups. I'm gonna show you guys in the next video how to target people on Facebook ads. And you wanna have a good picture, uh, six hundred by six hundred box. I have a big word saying free product. They'll catch your eyes and they'll see free on the Facebook ads and they'll uh, customer on Facebook will most likely click on it because it's target ads. You want to target certain pages and interests for your niche product. And for example, let's start with example. So let's say you want to go to Aliexpress and you want to sell this owl pendant or uh, let's say Air, Airsoft. Uh, Airsoft. Let's see what they have for Airsoft on here. Let's say you want to sell BBs, cheap BBs. This goes for six dollars Canadian. You can sell this for like twenty dollars for a whole bunch of these. So you want to go in your store, go to your products, any new product, and you want to put down what you're selling, the images, picture, description. Right now I'm so a short example. I'm just copying and pasting, showing you guys how it's done. So here's the most important part. On the pricing, you put zero dollars and you want to charge it per weight. That's how you do shipping. So let's do 0 0.01. And you want to save this product. I don't want to show my product. So you have this product saved for 0 0.01 uh, kilograms and zero dollars. So when you go to your listings, it's going to be show you. It's going to be zero dollars. So it's going to be free. You'll put free words in there, but it's going to be zero dollars. And then you want to go to your settings, go to your shipping, um, add a new shipping rate, and just type in st standard shipping. And so the weight you want to base out of is the weight order. So the other one was 0 0.01. So you want to do exact because you're charging by weight. So it's going to be, let's say, $10 or that. Uh, so it's going to charge you to $20. So it's, it's going to be free once you check out until you go to shipping page. You're going to be like, your total is $20. So this pretty much uh, is a method, it's a good method to trick, not trick them, but to get sales and generate leads to make 
this happen and you also want to buy Facebook ads so you want to keep on adding different ways so you add on you buy two products it's gonna cost you uh, let's say ten to twenty dollars for product so it's gonna cost you forty dollars and you need to put three in the cart it's gonna be sixty dollars so this is a key the main key is to buy ads on Facebook um, spend about five dollars a day to generate statistics and retarget those people with pixels. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in the next video, but this video is going to show you how to make money on Shopify doing drop shipping and over niche product. And you can make as much store as you want. Just make sure your one store is dedicated to one niche. So it's like people will come to your store and they'll most likely, like, most likely look at your products and sell it online, uh, buy it online. If they don't, you have a thing called a bad cart. So you can go to orders, bad cart. Uh, it shows you who added your product online and just left your website. So you can send them emails saying that, hey, you have an item in your cart, please buy it, or deals will end soon. So this is the best way to retarget those people, to re email them who been to your site. Because if they've been to your cart, you know, spent them like four pages to be in your uh, checkout cart. So you, you know that they want the product because they spent that much time clicking into the checkout. So you can email them, you can click. Uh, the stuff and click email recovery and you email them what they have purchased and most likely they will come back to your site because they've been on your site before and